My name is Patricia Thornton. I'm the superintendent with Riviera ISD. So there are a plethora of benefits, but I will say what's been most impactful is that the initiative has allowed for us to take our everyday practices and our scheduled activities. And, um, tonight we have a Fiesta FASPA and I anticipate uh, that uh, several of our parents will be in attendance with our students and we are um, engaging our families in the process of their uh, sons and daughters education. My name is Elias Arredondo. I'm the Coffer Early College High School Director. Because of RSSI, it's allowed us to broaden our windows of opportunity. And it's because of funding. That's what it comes down to. It's because of funding. Uh, it's because of the map they pro provide us and the assistance, the financial assistance that they provide us. So I sit here in a night like tonight where we're having our FAFSA Fiesta. And I think to myself, what if RSSI wasn't involved? What would that have looked like? You know, we may not have had the food, we may not have had the decorations, we may not have had the, the fancy invitations to get these folks out here, not because we didn't want to, but maybe the assets aren't there to make that happen. But they were, they did happen. And it's because of the help from RSSI. So it, we're doing better than we did last year. Here we are now, only two months into the school year. We've already taken close to 40 students on college tours. Uh, we've had a college application event. Now we've had a FAFSA event. These things aren't by accident. These things are because we have a partner who's telling us these things are important, get these things done and good things will happen. So that's how I think things have gotten better and that will continue to get better. On a professional level, I am deeply indebted to the RSSI template because I don't think uh, any of my successes could have occurred without them. Uh, I don't think I could have been as effective in my job without the assistance that that network has provided me. I have a goal of going to college and going for either my bachelor's or my master's in either zoology, biology. I've always had like this passion and love for like animals and wildlife and like the like zoos and aquariums, they always like fascinated me. I think I just want to travel and just study animals, go to like Australia or something, yeah. Obviously some kids or students don't have like the financial opportunities that other people have, so they need like this help and this like reassurance that they can do what they want in life later in the future. Uh, you can tell that the staff, the faculty, the administration is, is so happy to have, you know, this program. And so they are actually, you know, love this program and want for it to continue. And so the, the, just the amount of resources, the amount of uh, direction that they received, uh, not only from what they were already doing, but from the RSSI staff uh, has certainly brought a lot, of, a lot of spirit to the school. Students? benefit through our specific targets and those milestones that we complete because we target a hundred percent and so before we were implementing best practices for all students but we weren't being so specific to make sure we were getting a hundred percent of them we have those checklists now that it's okay we are so specific to ensure student success across the board and so i know that our students have benefited from our targeted practices she is a first generation. She actually um, came from Mexico, and so um, English as a second language. She had a dream to go to UT in Austin, and so that's just always kind of what she said. Is And Mr. A actually took her to CBC along with a small group of students, and he made it real world for her. Uh, these are the people that you're gonna contact. This is how we apply. This is every step and she's there this semester, it's her first semester in college, um, and she's being successful. And so those were something that was a dream that we helped make a reality for her. And so. Um, we were promised at the beginning that um, we, would, we would be completely satisfied um, with the extension that would be provided to us um, by being a part of the grant 
and and that has been the case through and through. I think even more than we had imagined. And boy, it, it has been, again, one of the best decisions that we have made as a district is to take part uh, of the, with the initiative. They give us more opportunities than other kids at different schools that don't have this early college program. I did just hope this is giving us a bigger step forward to the future. And it will help us a lot, like, it's gonna help us a lot.